Ten. Oh. <laughs> I'm holding these jazz hands for a while now. There we are. I'm so We're here. Woo. Woo. Hello. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Nice. <laughs> hey. Whoever has, by the way, whoever has that, like, like, uh, I think, Bexy, it's you. I think you have notification noises on on Discord. I want to turn those off. But hello, everyone. We are great. We're doing great. How are you doing, everybody? <laughs> look at the chat. Everyone's excited. Oh, gosh. I look so awkward on camera. I have the stream open on a different device. I look so awkward. Don't look at me. Look at Annalise. She is awesome. Please, everyone, oh, say hello. So our special guest, Annalie He. Everyone is saying hello. Like, like you, you can't hear them audibly, Annalie, but they're all extremely excited in the chat. Um, hello. <laughs> I'm not used to being on camera, sorry. I'm used to just be heard and not seen. So I'm doing my best. I'm trying to do this with flowers and everything. <laughs> all right. Annalie's here with me, but I'm not the only person here. Here's the wonderful Bexy from UK PonyCon is joining me. Say hello, Bexy. Hello. Hello. We are Bexy and I are your co are your hosts in duo fashion, and we are going to try our very best to bring this beautiful energy that we usually have. You know, when you're all in, all all here and all the people are there, and there's the guest, special guests on the stage, and everyone's just oh my gosh. This is, this is what we're trying to capture. Obviously, it's a bit different because we're all in three separate countries right now, thanks to the wonders of technology. <laughs> but we'll do our very best, and I hope I don't look like a complete dunce on camera, to entertain you for the next hour, and we really hope you'll have a good time. Before we open things up to general questions from the audience, we're just going to hang out for a little moment and just say hello, and how are you doing, Annalie, if I may ask? I'm I'm doing all good. I'm at home, uh, and it's a beautiful summer day outside. Really, typically beautiful summer Swedish day, and and I'm excited to be here. I love your flower crown. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I tried to <laughs> a little bit of the of the summer inside. <laughs> oh, it's the spirit. Is are you like outside right now, or are you inside? No, I'm inside. Continue. This is my inside wall. <laughs> So if I say I thought it says like the porch of the entrance area, I, I wasn't sure. I was confused. So I had oh. to ask. Sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, hi. Hi, living room. Hi. Bye, living room. Bye, living room. That was a real, very short sneak peek of my living room, yes. That's fine. We, we don't need to see everything, but hi. That looked nice. We're bright. The, the windows outside look really pretty. It's, it's really nice here, too. It's like here in Hamburg right now. Sunlight. It's 20 degrees. It's Basically, the perfect early summer weather, but I'm inside talking to you, which is, you know, I wish I could do it outside too. That'd be perfect. But, but here's, so yeah, here's where the camera is, and here's where the audio works, so that's all right. Mm. All right. Um, Bexy, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You look excited. You look excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm we're, excited. We're bringing all this positive energy to everyone, you know? Yeah, we're bringing like a little. Little slice of what we usually would do at these conventions to people's homes, which makes me excited. Pony Fest is happening for the third time, and I'm so excited about it, bringing you know good spirit to people. All right. Um, before we open things up to the audience, I mean we, we might get the ball rolling with a few questions, but before we do, I'm just going to explain very briefly how this works. The good thing is we usually when we ask you know, questions for our beautiful special guests. Usually it's in person and there's this whole procedure. People have to queue and stand from microphones and then have to explain to them how to talk into a microphone because it's surprisingly difficult at first. And really can probably tell stories about it. <laughs> yeah. and, and so this is all stuff we don't have to do. So all we're gonna do this time is uh, we have, hang on. I'm sorry, you have to listen to my horribly loud keyboard. I'm so sorry. Like people are hearing all my notifications earlier, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I just realized I'm the hypocrite. I'm so sorry. I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. No, just, no, I didn't realize. And I was like, the what? noise was oh, on, no. and then I just hack away at my keyboard. Bum, 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 bum. It's a mechanical oh, keyboard. That's why it's so loud. Okay, but the way this works, 
is we have a separate text channel for our watchers called for the bitrate stage, the bitrate stage questions channel. Please, there is a slow mode on that. That means please think about what you ask. You cannot ask more than one question, I think, every 10 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Um, so please think about what you ask. I make, of, sure, of course, sure, this is the rule that applies for every event, no matter online or offline, that your questions are appropriate, that they're not asking about things Annalie literally cannot know. Like she doesn't know what happens with G5. Even if she knew, she wasn't allowed to tell you because their contracts were. You know, I signed a bunch of NDAs every week, so there's some yeah. things I can't answer. Yeah, exactly. So, so we understand you're curious, but you cannot really get any a helpful answer from that, even if we all really want to. So try to ask things that Annalie can answer and make sure that your questions are appropriate. And yeah, that's about it. Honestly, so think of a nice question or two while we get the ball rolling. Bexy, you want to have the honor of the first question. I will. I just want to also say that the bitrate stage discussion is full of apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can I have some? <laughs> Let me check. The channel should be open in a second. Right. So here's my question. And... It, it relies on the internet being right, hopefully. Internet? It, it might not be true. The thing. Um, being part of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic has been like a massive whirlwind for everyone. How, if this is true, how does it differ from when you voiced in 3.5 webisode, if that was you? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Do you mean the difference between the the shows? Of course, there's a huge difference between the 3.5 and the and the 4. Of course, I mean, it's like they're not even in the same room. Um, but the difference is that when I did My Little Pony uh, Generation 3.5, um, it was, I mean, there was no feedback. <laughs> there was no, I mean, I... I went there, I, I loved it because um, I used to, I mean, I love My Little Pony since I was a basically baby. So, I mean, I, I loved it and I was so honored to be on the show, but it was mostly about like, oh no, I can't find the scones I made. Oh no, we should try and find it. Ooh. And it was only about that. Like, where's my new summer hat? I can't find it. Oh no, we will help you. It was only that stuff. Uh, so when Generation <laughs> 4 came along, it, it was another story and then, I mean, the whole fan community and everything, uh, really, it was a big change. And how was it voicing the characters in, this is an add-on, not a second question. Yes. Get away with it. Okay. Um, how was it voicing <laughs> Cheerilee in two different generations? I didn't voice Cheerilee uh, in the 3.5. I was actually Scootaloo. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then I, I wasn't, was wrong. <laughs> and then I was Sweetie Belle in, in Generation 4, so that was weird, because I, I came there like, oh, oh, oh am, am I going to do this good little? They're like, no, not anymore. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> and they like, said, oh, it's a bunch of other ponies and a dragon for you. <laughs> that was <laughs> Not bad, either. No, that, not at all. <laughs> I, I, I have a question, too. Yeah. I know you also, this is obviously something that's a bit harder to talk about since it's sadly not something that is as accessible in English, but I know you also do a comedy, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so a comedy performer. Uh, how did that, did that start for you? Did you voice act first or did you do comedy first? How did that work? I did, well, I did like voiceovers for commercials first and then comedy and then voice acting for cartoons. So comedy came first. And it's a good asset to have um, when you're getting into the cartoon voiceover business because it's uh, the comedy timing that you learn on stage. It's really applicable uh, when you do cartoons. Oh, I imagine. It's definitely a special kind of skill. I mean, I know a lot of voice performers are also often stage actors or, you know, perform in other sorts of things. But being really expressive is really important. So I, I figured that was good. But that's really cool that so comedy sort of came before you did the actual voiceover artist stuff. But I did a lot of different voices on stage. I was an impersonator as well. So I did a lot of different voices impersonating Swedish celebrities. And, and so, yeah. Then it's not a big jump to being a cartoon pony, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. All right. If you open for it, we have a few questions already. And I hope we get a few more. Should we get started? Yes. 
Bexy, do you have a, a good eye on them now or should I? Um, I can start from the first one. Sorry, I think the Amazon man's just come. So, <laughs> um, okay. so sorry, I'll wait for Sam to finish coming downstairs. So question here from Nugget is, in terms of pitch, do you try and match the character's voice as close to the English VA's character voice or do you take your own spin on it? I always try to sound as much as possible as the original voice. I want to match. It's uh, it's always like a like a challenge. I want to you know to yeah. I want it to be the same, but in Swedish. So, but then of course um, I do also my own spin on it. But mostly I want it to sound exactly the same, but in Swedish. But then you know, a little bit of me also gets in there. <laughs> That's part of the fun. Yeah. Oh, we have another question. This one is from Flutterkind. And I'm guessing this is a question you've heard before, but it always bears uh, asking again, I suppose. When you said, you know, your, your famous apple pie line, was that, was it on purpose that it sounded a little bit, you know, a bit sillier? <laughs> was that on purpose or did it just kind of come out that way and they kept that take? How exactly do you mean I sounded? <laughs> Uh, well, the question, well, the person who asked the question called it enticing. It oh, sounded enticing, yeah. like, you know, like a really tasty apple pie. Very good. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, I was trying to, I mean, I, I saw Spitfire and I thought, okay, this is a, this is a cool, I mean, she's the captain of the Wonderwall. She's cool. She's the captain. And I just wanted to make her cool and a little bit like, you know, she knows what she's doing. And she's been around, she knows stuff. And, uh, you know, that's why she... <laughs> I did not mean to sound in any way, you know. So. <laughs> so it was supposed to sound cool, but it, it came out a, a bit different than people expected. <laughs> and I mean, it passed. I mean, I, I made it, and then the, the the sound engineer it passed through him, and then also the person who um, edited edited before it was released. So it had to go through three people. So <laughs> nobody reacted to it. <laughs> they all liked it. They were all fine with it. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it did lead to you becoming, you know, definitely famous for your voice performance across, you know, Europe for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that it turned out that way. I'm very happy because I mean, I wouldn't be here right now if that wouldn't be the case. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. It is true. <laughs> I, I don't speak a single bit of Swedish, but I still thought your performance was great. So. I think I'm one of many like that who feel that way. So I get Thank that. <laughs> but I was surprised uh, at first when when uh, I was asked to to come to Galacon the first time in 2012 uh, oh. and talk about Spitfire because I because I I mean I got an email from somebody who sent it to me and and I first reacted with oh I I I think you got the wrong email address I'm in the Swedish version. <laughs> so, Bitfire has like three lines. I mean, I'm Spike, I'm Sweetie Belle, Charlie, uh, Crystal is <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> so I was very surprised. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, I, I was around for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was on purpose. It was just like, hey, we want to see who we can get. And we're, the Galcom was still very small at the time. So we figured, hey, let's invite some people from Europe, you know, just get people interested in that. So invite it's the German voice actress and you. So, and I, it just kind of stuck, you know, turns out you were really cool and the other voice actress was really cool. So we invited you again. That's how it goes. <laughs> it was a bunch of um, sweet memories. Mm, I'm glad. All right, Vex, you're going to head. Ask well, us the next question. It's not exactly a question, but I've been noticing people don't, don't know about the pie incident really and how, Every, why everyone's saying apple pie so uh, you, you, I'm so sorry Annalie you might have to to do it for the audience so. <laughs> sure I mean it was almost 10 years ago so <laughs> uh uh yeah so the scene is that uh it's from the episode the best night ever season one episode 26 25 or 26 26 you know this better than me I think uh uh and um well Rainbow Dash tries to, I mean, they well, everybody has seen it, I guess, so so I don't think I have to explain <laughs> the whole setting of it. <laughs> well, but uh, there's an apple pie and it's flying around and uh, Rainbow Dash catches it and gives it to Soren and um, Spitfire comes up to her, like, 
like congratulating her to that she made this big effort to save the pie. Uh, and she says something like, um, hello, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, let us soar in seven pie. <laughs> and there you say it was supposed to just sound like really cool, but yeah. the fandom was was a glow of it when they saw that clip because it was like, wow, she made, made that sound way more sassy than we expected. So I was like, wow, Swedish Spitfire sounds really cool and sassy. Yeah, and then they time stretched. I mean, they they the video was it's actually not there anymore. It had it had so many views. It was crazy. Oh, and, I remember. It's not there anymore. It's too bad. Um, because they, I mean, they time stretched it. Also, uh, the video was from the best night ever with Tony. Uh, also matched together with Fry from uh, Futurama. So it was like a mashup between them. So he was reacting to what what Spitfire said, uh, <laughs> and also they time stretched my pie. Like, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's there anymore. Is it on those internets? Is it there anymore? Someone, someone, someone linked the scene itself. I'm not sure it's the exact video you mean, but someone linked the scene uh, with the example. I think it's there somewhere, but not the not the original one with the, all of the views. They was and the, all of the comments. It was thousands of comments, and I read through a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. <laughs> Oh boy, I hope if, if you were around back then, I, you better have said something nice. She, she saw you. <laughs> some parts uh, was really sweet. And so, some parts of the, the things that I read was not that sweet. No, no, we, let's not talk about that. Let's talk this about how most people are really cool and said really cool things. Yeah. Because everyone is really cool. <laughs> but yes, that's kind of how, you know, it became a bit of a meme. I mean, it was 2012 where, you know, there wasn't much, as much of the show yet. So people looked for every word where they could make, you know, jokes and memes and, yeah. and just edits. But and I mean, it made so many laughters. I mean, I laughed so hard when I read everything. So, so yes. it, it was, yeah. And, and that, that place, oh, someone re-uploaded that apparently, that clip. My face okay. when Swedish Spitfire. It's Oh, Someone preserved the video. Uh, it might not yeah. have been the original upload, but someone kept the video, yeah, and re-uploaded oh, okay. <laughs> So that part of <laughs> pony history is preserved. Yay! <laughs> you can be in the pony museum then. <laughs> yes, the museum of pony, of po pony, famous pony moments definitely includes your Apple buy. All right, uh, let's see what other questions we have. Uh, all right, here's a question from Shyfire, if I may read that one. Uh, how did, did you get into voicing for MLP? Did you get cast? Like, did you start a casting? Did you go to a casting or did you get cast from, by Hasbro or by the showrunners? I got, I got cast. Uh, they, they, the studio basically called me and, and they said, uh, so we had this booking for you. It's three or four hours and it's for My Little Pony. And I was so happy because I, I loved to play with Pony when I was a kid. I had the, the stable and lim, lemon drop and surprise and gutsy and all of them. So I, I was so happy. And and when I came there, I um, I got to play Scootaloo in Generation 3.5 and then the other guys. So, but I was kind of surprised because I kind of, I mean, I didn't forget about Spike per se, but I I was surprised when they said, oh, so, so you're going to play this, uh, this is a, uh, a guy. I'm like, okay, I played guys before. It's like, what I do, it's okay. And then, oh yeah, he's a dragon. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna play a pony. Oh, well, okay. Well, he's he's super cute. So I'm happy anyway. Um, <laughs> then I got the other ponies as well. So, <laughs> but I started off with only Spike in Generation Four. Nice. Yes, and he's now my animated baby. No. <laughs> yes, he will always be that. <laughs> Whittle dragon baby. Yes. You want to ask for the next question, Bexie? I'm just going to say the first part of this person's name, who's just Bam Bam, is, has asked, how did you get started in voice acting? I, I got asked when I um, came down from stage uh, after performing stand-up. So um, they asked me if I wanted to come into the studio and do like a generic voice test. And I said, I have been waiting for you to ask me that. So yes, I will follow you. <laughs> and I never left. <laughs> but I mean, growing up, uh, I grew up in the southern of Sweden, in Skåne, and I really wanted to to voice 
cartoons. I really wanted to do that. So I used to pause at the, uh, this was the time of VHS. So I used to pause at the end of the movies and see what companies made it. And then I told my parents, hey, can we call them and say that I want to go there? Because I was only Aww. seven, eight years old. Yeah, and this adorable. Yeah, but I, I really wanted to do that. And they said, "Oh no, you have to live in Stockholm. Maybe you have to be a celebrity." I'm like, "Challenge accepted." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, and I, I recorded my my um, like old tapes with uh, with uh, the voices to Little Mermaid and all of those old Disney classics with me in all of the in all of the roles, of course. So I I also read this like cast credits afterwards. And like, and the princess was played by Annalie, and the prince was played by Annalie, and all of that. I, I did that. <laughs> I still have Aww. those tapes. <laughs> that is so gosh darn sweet. Oh, my heart. That's adorable. It's my cutie mark. <laughs> it is no wonder. You started early and you never stop. There yes. you go. <laughs> Here's a question that Bex you should also read. I mean, I was cheeky and I submitted it, but. <laughs> Bex, you should ask it because I thought maybe Bex is curious about this one too. So I guess it's a joint. I am. I, w I was Thanks. like, oh, I want to know. So Perry's also, Perry was on the Britain list. So <laughs> I'm a massive collector. I just have to say Yeah, Bex is the expert here. Oh, I'm not. An expert. I'm not. <laughs> Much more than me. You know your stuff. Don't but, be shy. Um, Don't what's be your shy. favorite G1 pony and why? My favorite G1 pony? Surprise. Yeah. Surprise. Oh. Aww. Yes, I love her cutie mark, the sparkling purple balloons, and her hair was sometimes like lime green and sometimes yellow, uh, and I, I really like her. <laughs> she she, she kind of made her way into G4. I mean, she became yeah. Pinkie Pie, basically, so. I know, I know, it's so cool. It's so cool. Also, I mean, Gusty had a special place in my heart with a red, red slash pink uh, little stripe in the mane. I love it. Mm. She's pretty. Mm. What, Bexy, can you approve of those choices? Definitely. Like, my favorite G1's are Moose, so. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Definitely good choices. Oh, sorry, I keep drinking. It's just my throat's so dry today. I have no idea why. So, it's your question next, Perry. Okay. Another question from Flutterkind. Do I remember correctly that the Swedish voice for Spitfire, similar to the English one, was changed after season one? Nope. Uh, it wasn't. Um, I always stuck to the one I started with because sometimes the original, they, they changed the, the actress or they changed. Yeah. They're the wondering if stuff. there was a new actress for Spitfire too, if it, or if it was you the whole time. It was me. I think there was maybe one time it wasn't me. I'm not sure. It, it might have happened actually one time, but I'm not sure. But I think so, because that happened with Charlie. Sometimes I played her, sometimes somebody else played her. Uh, oh, so so yeah. it was a bit interchangeable because it was like a side character, I guess. So sometimes yeah, it depends. Well, yeah. It depends. Then, if you have those and those many hours in the studio, it's easier to put that on somebody or to get somebody in the studio for three lines. So it depends. But I, I always try to, I always say, hey, uh, this is, you know, I've done this character for five seasons now, so it would be nice if I could continue with this. I know it's just a small character, but she means a lot to me, so I, I said that to the studio. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. But it's, it's true, you see that in the original show a lot. Like, for instance, if there's a male side character who says, like, two lines, it's usually Peter New who voices him. Yeah. Because, you know, it's like, oh, he's here, and he just said one word as Big Mac. He might as well just voice a few more lines, too. So, yeah. you know. Might as well. He, he does need to make the trip just to say yup once and then leave. So it's it's similar. Yeah. When someone's I don't, I don't, there, I, I don't the, those uh, recordings when I only have to go to the studio and say two words and then go back home. <laughs> other <laughs> other yeah other shows where, where where it's important that it's exactly the same. So I like so I have to travel like one and a half hours just to say these two words. Yes, and I can't record them from home. Nope. I'm like okay. Oh. Sure. I'll be there with bells on it. <laughs> oh man. All right, Bex, you want right. to ask the next question? Next question is from Jamis, and it can you share one memorable slash funny moment with the Brony fandom or cons? Oh, oh there, there's, there's a lot. Some... There's a lot, oh. yeah. But yeah, just pick one you can think of. Just one you can think of. 
okay, um, because there's like 10 conventions and something. Um, uh, okay, I, I went to, oh, but okay, one that was not related to the panel though, but I was in Kansas City for a convention and uh, there was uh, a tornado. So they locked me in this, um, I was in a store, a clothing store. And then they locked me and the other customers uh, in, in the back of the store uh, until oh. the it was gone. So we, we were there for like an hour and it was super exciting and kind of scary. scary. <laughs> yeah, it was mostly scary, but also, but also exciting, you know, it was ne never happened in Sweden. So I was no. like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, but nobody got hurt uh, and, and it was not the big, I mean, the, the alarm goes off, even if it's not, a super bad tornado, so it was good. Uh, so we were all safe in the in the store. Uh, that was one. <laughs> Do you have five hours more? Uh, <laughs> no, but um, well, once after one of the gala cons, uh, I can't remember which one it was. Maybe the second. Uh, a bunch of us went to this really nice outdoors restaurant, and we sat and had a chat, and we were there to the middle of the night, uh, and it was fantastic. And we ate Flammkuchen. Flammkuchen, yes. Flammkuchen. Very, yeah. Flammkuchen. It was traditional so good. German, German, especially in the south of Germany, traditional dish. It's kind of like a savory pancake. It's really nice. With like yeah. Pancake, like it makes it and sauce. It's so good. So. <laughs> my, I guess my recommendation also. Now imagine like, you know, you, how many, like, like which, which different places have you been for the conventions? I actually, I just, I don't know on the top of my head. Um, I've been to um, a, a Germany and uh, Finland and the uh, uh, Czech Republic and the uh, US, uh, Kansas City, Minneapolis, and one more. <laughs> I can't remember. You've been so many places, all because of apple pie. Isn't that wild? It, it is. It is wild. It is, and I still can't believe it. I I got to meet so many great people, and I'm very thankful for all the opportunities to to just hang out with you guys. You're a fantastic bunch, all of you, and and uh, I'm very happy. So yeah. Well, we have some questions about ponies, also. American Brony, for instance, asks. The, the eternal question, the one that gives us all pause, who is best pony? Oh, <laughs> uh, I always, I always, because that question was so big in the beginning of the fandom, who's best pony? And then when I tried to say it on stage once, everybody was like, oh, that's so one year ago. <laughs> so I didn't dare to say it anymore. Uh, but yeah, best pony, I always say, Spike like the dragon, because he's best dragon, you know. Best dragon counts. I agree. Anyone, you know, anyone who disagrees? No, he's an honor. You know, he's an honorary pony. He, he's somewhere else. Watch with ponies. He gets to be a pony. Oh, yes, he is. I have a little surprise for you guys. If you want to oh. see, uh, so this is my daughter. Her name hello. is Medina. Can I say hello? Hello, my pony. <laughs> She's learning English, and uh, we wanted to sing a little song for you guys. She's also a voice actress. And uh, she's been oh. doing it for like almost two years now. Two years? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and she's learning English. So I'm going to try to put us both in this small phone camera here. And we want to sing like the, um, are we up for a song? First of all, we could just sing. We have to ask. Of course. Sing? Cool. So. Sing. We'd be honored. We'd be honored to listen to you sing. Oh, thank you. Then we're going to sing this, the ending of a song from uh, one of the latest seasons. Uh, okay. Do we start? Like that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Wait. Um. Big Dippo, Hai Tun Hai Dana, Live at the Grim, this is the Inget Guru, Mo Tun Hai Dana, On any body, and the Queen is in him. Kiluna is so cool, I'm a mistress in there. Quan or some hope a shake, or Quan or a bedday, Tatara. The chat is going wild. 
The chat loved it. The chat yeah. completely is dead from cute. Oh, Hi. they loved it. You did such a good job. You did such a good that was job. Amazing. Really good. Oh, I love seriously. That was so no so nice. Oh, seriously. Oh, the chat. Okay, I wish you could cool. see the chat. Everyone's the just cool. posting happy <laughs> pony faces. So Yay. many Love hearts and happy it's and happy. Like <laughs> look at that. Hey, look, look, look at all those happy ponies. <laughs> oh, so you did so good. And Louisa has been to uh, four four conventions with me, uh, mm. so she's been traveling around too. And she actually got this cute T-shirt uh, when we were in I think it was in Minneapolis. I think it was a couple of years ago. So she's been to a couple of conventions. So and both her and my son are, are huge pony fans. So yeah, you're yeah. doing awesome. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mama's proud. <laughs> you did so good. That was so adorable. Oh, was... my heart! My heart is like just all a flutter with like oh, cuteness. Oh, yeah, it's made me feel warm and fuzzy. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Again, you, the chat is just completely thrilled. I'm happy. We practiced. <laughs> I can tell you did good though. That was really nice. <laughs> so lovely, really. Oh, some 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 good songs are good for the soul. Well, I'm definitely got people are now furiously typing more questions. Let's ask the next one. Do you want to handle the next one, Bexie? Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. It, it's another one about a favorite pony, which uh -huh. is <laughs> from Boop Kitty, which is, who's uh -huh. your favorite Cutie Mark Crusader? Oh, well, I'm kind of biased there, just Mimi Belle, because she's so young and so sweet. And I mean, I've been voicing her for 10 years now, so she's so cute. And I really like her. She's very determined sometimes with her big sister, and that's a good skill, I think. I love really Sweetie Belle a lot. It's hard to pick a favorite, but if I had to pick a favorite, it would be Sweetie Belle. Oh, <laughs> also, but I really like the bow. The bow that um... Apple Bloom. Yeah, I like. I like her. Bow. They're all cute as buttons, but if I had to pick, it would be Sweetie Belle because she just her frustrations are, are my frustrations. When she gets <laughs> mad about fabric, I feel that personally. Damn yeah. fabric! It's, I feel that. Yeah, and she just. I, I really like her mane. That's so cute when she says that. Uh, you sweetie's just like, I love her and mom. So. <laughs> but sometimes, I mean, I sometimes. Like mane. I really like her mane. But it's like uh, when these, uh, when these, uh, when she does the uh, thing. Oh, the squeaks. <laughs> you did. Yeah. The squeaks. so cute. I have to, when, I, when you say, uh, the Crystal Empire, when they go to. <laughs> so I had to do. <laughs> It's so hard to do. Wow. But I had to do like four retakes or something because I really wanted to do to be squeaky enough that you could hear what I'm saying. But still, I mean. That is Maxim squeak. That is that is something. Wow. You have powerful squeak skills. Thank you. I always wanted to hear that. <laughs> but how you did, it's 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 definitely deserved. I, I, I could put it on my, on my resume like, Hey, just so you know, I got some serious squeaking, uh, you know, that <laughs> <laughs> they say, oh, we're going to cost you for this, like, really low character. And then you do that. <laughs> Gosh, that is, that is something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing so much. Right. Okay, okay, I'm trying to, going to try to read the next question. That one ace is curious about what the weather is like in Sweden. Does it get very cold? It, it gets extremely cold in the winter and it's, no, it's not extremely, but for me, I'm still frozen, it's like, oh. but um, uh, yeah, it's cold here in the winter, uh, but it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's manageable if you put your coat on, but, but still it's, it's uh, yeah, it's too cold. <laughs> That's my answer to that question. Sweden is too it's cold. It's too cold. <laughs> yeah, but right now it's sunny and warm, so I'm happy. All right, um, Bex, you want to read the next question from... Bam, 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 boozle. <laughs> yeah. It, any advice for those wanting to get into voice acting? Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, first of all, it's really important for you to get to know your own voice and get to know your range and what you can do with it. Um, I started to record myself on tape recorder when I was a kid and to just record yourself on your computer or your phone to see, like, 
how low you can go and how uh, high you can dance. So that's good to know to really see your range there. And also try on different accents, uh, be inspired by other people. Uh, try to just impersonate whatever you hear and play around and see where you where you like sound. And also you have to take into consideration that if you have a character with the really like like a special like a, a voice when you do like this like a guy voice then you have to know how to play around with it so you can play really angry but also really like fun stuff like that so you can uh, fit all the emotional ranges in that in that range so yeah listen to yourself get used to how you sound and learn your range and uh, send your tapes to the studios and you're on a roll nice good tip very good tips there <laughs> the next I'm question is very silly. Question. I'm loving it. Okay, Flutterkind has, has two questions, but I, I'll just ask the first one first, obviously. We, we don't want to, you know, spam too much at once. Would you rather, this, this is very important. This is a very important, like, imagine it in your mind's eye. Would you rather hug one pony sized duck or a hundred duck sized ponies? Oh, wow. <laughs> I love this question so much. Uh, <laughs> I love ducks. <laughs> so wait, so one pony, one duck sized, no, wait, one, one pony sized, one pony sized duck or a yeah. hundred duck sized ponies. I, I, I think I'm going to say the, the pony sized duck. Cause yes. I mean, Ooh, cause yes. that's, Imagine that hug, how cuddly would that be? Oh, a big, fuzzy, cuddly oh. duck, yes, with the wings wrapped around you. Oh. Like, I love that. Like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I love ducks, so I approve of this answer. Ducks are great. <laughs> That's <laughs> I'm adding to the conversation with my. <laughs> I can order a kebab Good. in that place. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Donald Duck in Sweden by any chance? No, I'm not, but I wish to be. <laughs> I would love that. That'd be, that'd be incredible. I don't think Donald has ever been voiced by a woman. People should give that a oh, shot, seriously. Time. Yeah. Maybe it should be, you know. But the guy, Andreas Nilsson in Sweden, who does uh, Donald Duck for like 30 years, he does a splendid job with him, so I wouldn't dare. Wow. To okay, so he's really experienced. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. It's done all this part of him is like, yeah, like this. <laughs> the flutter kind of second part. Like this because I look. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get the duck mouth. <laughs> you, <have> to... <laughs> you literally have to duck mouth. That's not good because when I start with the duck voices, it just goes downhill. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, the second part of the question is. I, I, I cannot imagine your answer, but we should not be presumptuous. Would you like to be invited to European Pony Conventions in 2021? Of course. <laughs> I didn't even have to think about it. Of course, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Just the uh, the uh, whole chat is being blown up with um, ducks. Oh, okay. That's Everyone's a duck in convention. With ducks. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we have a duck convention. It can be called Duck Con. Duck Con. Sounds weird. Instead of <laughs> instead of uh, post ponies, it's post ducks. Post duck. I'm writing my post duck right now on university. Yeah, I approve. Everyone post ducks and yeah, chat. Post okay, get, so get, get quackers. Yeah, ask the next question while we people right, get quackers. From Hawthorne Bunny is. Who is a better cook, you or Sweetie Belle? Oh, well, I remember Sweetie Belle being not that, not that great. I, I would say myself. <laughs> a really good big pie. She tries. <laughs> Sweetie yeah. Belle tries, but it, it's it's um, difficult. Yeah, she would someday get there, but I would say <laughs> I would say myself. <laughs> I believe you. I believe that you can cook better. I mean, she, you saw what she did to to, to Rarity's kitchen. It was uh, a yeah. bit of a a bit of a disaster. Yeah, yeah. But she was so sweet. <laughs> yeah, she really tries. Her toast also, I remember. Mm. <laughs> All 
I was looking at all the ducks because now it's duck yep. all in it. Okay. And it's breaking my day. <laughs> Draptap asks, uh, what mementos have you collected over time? Like souvenirs of sorts oh, from, okay. from the fandom. I have I have two boxes of of things, beautiful things that I bought from vendors. I just can't stop myself because when I when I have time to go uh, look in the vendors hall, I end up with so much stuff, and I just can't because they're so cute. And like I need I need them. I want want I want them, and I need them, and I buy them. And also I I have gotten some really sweet gifts, handmade uh, wooden boxes, and and beautiful handcrafted things. So I I have. Uh, two boxes and also I have uh, another box filled with with really sweet letters uh, that have been sent to me uh, and art a lot of art uh, so I'm a, I'm a really that's one of my most like one of my prized possessions because I, I like I like to like you know on a rainy day you can just sit there and look at them it's really heartwarming no no I, be I believe it I mean it comes from the heart mm. Stuff that people make from the heart. So, do we have a, a, a particular favorite? I mean, you like them all, but is there a special special thing you've ever gotten where you're like, "Wow, that's really unique." You still there, Annalie? No, I'm gonna disappoint ten others, so I just can't pick one. Oh. But there are a few, a few things, like handmade things, that I just uh, they're, they're they're too you know. Very important to me so yeah but i can't just say one because then i feel bad with the others that I didn't mention. no I, I, I get it i get it yeah, yeah. but there are mm -hmm. if they're all special they're all special i believe it yes all right next question Bixie. Um, definitely attracting all the uh, sweetie bell questions so yeah, people you know, love your sweetie me. bell people love oh. your sweetie bell. So we've so got sweet. can we get your favorite sweetie bell line oh well, it would be, um, there, are so many, there are so many of them, uh, but, but the older they got, I really like your name, um, but that's not even, that's not, did you love it sending mom? That's my line. <laughs> but, um, oh, I, I, oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I've been tweeting about for 10 years. I just, there's so many, there's so many. Oh, I really want to say, I really want to, ah, uh, 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 Ask me later on Twitter and I'll answer you. I promise. I had to think okay. about it. It's not that fun to watch me think. Like, if, if you ask me, like, if I had to pick, just, just spontaneously, my favorite yeah. is in the episode where they try to find a date for, for Hearts and, Hearts and Hoofs Day. Yeah. For Cheerily Big Mac. And, yeah. They're watching, yeah, they're watching Big Mac and Cheerily from the bushes and nothing oh, is happening. And Sweetie God. Bell just goes, oh, come on! Oh, yeah, come on! That's cute. I, I love that one. That's what she says in Sweden, yeah. And also when she's just like, that's adorable. In Sweden, she's like, oh. that's just a goodly. Oh, oh <laughs> it's too freaking cute. All right, we have one more question and then we do need to start saying our goodbyes, sadly, because no. the hour has flown by. <laughs> I know. It's such oh, a blast to talk with you, Annalie, like every time. Like and time just much. flies. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really wish we had more like like I said this earlier, but Celeste really need to, needs to get on making more hours in the day. So mm -hmm. this, yes. One last question to... from No, you sorry, <laughs> you finished. I keep talking over you. I'm so sorry. The stream delay sometimes just kills me. <laughs> but no, bizarre question from Rainbow Fuff. Um, do you have a particular favorite episode or something of a show that you really enjoy? I like the I think mostly because of the song. Uh, and I'm not in that episode that much, but I still, I mean, I love it. it, it it's, it's so cool with the, with the song uh, uh, and, the, and the duet uh, between, between uh, Applejack and Fluttershy. And then Rarity and the others come along in the end of the song. I, I really like that episode. But my favorite episode is um, season two finale uh, with the This, uh, this Day aria with Kate and yes. Yes. The changelings. It was so cool. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. And I was like jumping up and down the studio when I found out that I was going to be both uh, Cadence and Chrysalis. Oh, so, um, right. I was like, a moment. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, really? Really? 
That is, oh, I right. I completely forgot. And you, you, you had done so many roles in the Swedish dub. I completely forgot you were Chrysalis too. That's so good. I counted. I stopped counted, uh, counting at uh, 50, 50 roles, 50 ponies and one drag. But then I don't know. I mean, I've been uh, singing balloons and singing flowers, the scary things I was singing in Sweden. So, uh, so 50 <laughs> ponies and one dragon and a bunch of other creatures in the, yeah. And then one griffin, of course, Silver Street. Gosh, you are we are one busy pony, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just seeing. Oh, this looks. We're getting. We're getting. Oh, we haven't. Okay, we have an extra ten minutes if we want. Do we want Yay! an extra ten minutes? Yes, let's do that. At least a few minutes. We'll we'll shave up a few minutes. We'll, we'll take a few extra minutes. Yeah. Um. Just a few. <laughs> Because we were told you can have a few more minutes, but not too many minutes, because we do also need to prepare things for later. And just, just there's so much programming still to go. Pony Fest is a long event. We keep going and going and going. Yeah. Like, this is just the start, basically. We're still very much at the start of it. So. Cool. Oh, this is a warm up then. <laughs> no, but you're, you're the best warm up we could have asked for, to be honest. So don't, don't worry about that. It's not, you're, you're like, you're less good. It's more just we try to we try to cover more time zones, you know. Beforehand, Pony Fest was more time zones just in mind for the United States because that's where a lot of the, the viewers are from, and that's understandable. But we wanted to see maybe we can sneak in a bit more programming, you know, from other things for people more in Europe. And I mean, so far it seems to work. People seem to be having a good time. Well, this is, we've already got two time zones here. Yeah. I'm the hour behind. Well, let's see if we can get another question or two in. Bexy, shoot. Sorry, my phone decided to freeze where I'm reading it from. So mm. just a second. Oh, it's fine. What did you think of the Cutie Mark Crusaders getting their Cutie Mark? I was like, finally! I was hoping <laughs> that they weren't going to get them. And I was so happy. Actually brought a little tear to my eye when I was recording it. Because I was like, they're so happy. They're so happy. <laughs> I got caught up in the in the show while recording it. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Uh, and when uh, when like that is you know, I don't know if I want to spoil. I mean, I, can I? I mean, people, you, you know what happened with Spike. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I don't have to. I'm always afraid to spoil stuff. But you know, when he got his wings, I was like, what is happening? Because I I didn't know. And then I was like, I, I looked, I looked up to the screen. And I was like, oh, so he's getting sick. What's going? On? And then, what? He got wings? Really? <laughs> I'm like, that's not gonna be the Alicorn corn princess now. <laughs> just needs, just needs a horn now. Just plop on the horn, yeah. and he's good. He's good to yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then he's all done, you know. <laughs> so that was that was very cool. I was very surprised by that. <laughs> all right, Flutterkind asks next. If you could be a pony for just a day or even forever, which pony would you want to be? Oh, I would like to be the one that is so cute when she's speaking. Um, that Persia. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no, no, and my heart has melted again. I know what and everything. I'm trying to get the essence of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could you could talk to animals and stuff. That's that's good. Yeah, right. Okay. If she talks to animals, talk to yes. animals and the flowers in the maze. So yeah, I would love that. <laughs> she has she really pretty fly. hair. Yeah, she, she flies so sometimes. Fly, fly, talk to animals, and be really like with the big eyes and you know. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Fluttershy. <laughs> Fluttershy is a good pick. Yeah, but I think I'm more of a. I always, I mean, uh, I always get that, oh, you're a mix of Pinkie Pie and Rarity. And I'm like, I can work with that. I like that. Yes, I do. I'm not a Fluttershy kind of person, but I know a lot of people that are uh, like her. And, and you know, I, I, I like it. <laughs> Everyone is spamming the chat right now with Fluttershy gifts and emotes, of course. They oh, approve of your choice. Keep a poo your choice. Oh. Right, Bexy, hit us with the next question. It's an... Ugh, sorry, I can't speak right now. So it's an American <laughs> pony. And it's another pony question. What was the easiest pony to play? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just... So, I just you've, got to nearby. Played, like, oh, you've played so many ponies. 
Which one was the <laughs> easiest to play? Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> yeah, he just he just came here, so I just wanted to say he wanted to say hello. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry for that interruption. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's your house. Yeah. Don't feel bad. I have them here right now, so so yeah. <laughs> sorry, it's okay. working from home. Yeah, that's uh, my life right now. And it's it's. I mean, it's Saturday, so everybody is at home there. So fun. sorry. What 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 was the question? What was the easiest pony to play out of all the ones you've played? The easiest pony to play? Yes. Um, there is no pony that is like, oh, this is gonna be easy. I never had that approach to to the. Uh, I mean, they're all different personalities, different styles. So I wouldn't say easiest pony to play, but of course, if it's just a like a random background pony. Uh, oh, so many jokes here. I'm not going to mention. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but um, no, no. Nah. Nobody, no, no pony is easy to play, like easy. I mean, they all have their special talents and their styles. So when I do my best to, to get that, get them to sound like that. So. I think we, Bexy, do you want to do as the last question? Because I think we have time for, for one more, but one from Shy Fire sounds good because we want to make sure we, we don't wrap up still on time. Yeah. So from Shy Fire, it was, what was the most surprising change in the show for you, such as? Twilight is a princess, cutie mark crusaders getting their cutie marks. What was the biggest surprise that you saw? Um, I, I think nobody expected that uh, Twilight was going to be a princess. Uh, at least I didn't. I, I was very like, oh, oh, she's a princess now. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, but then I think, yeah, uh, the cutie mark crusaders, I really, I, I didn't think that they were going to get their cutie mark. I didn't think so. But when they got them, I got really happy. And that was a surprise. No, I agree. I thought they deserved it. So it took a long time, but I thought when it, it happened, I was like, yes, this is the time. And it was so cute. And the songs of that episode was so good. I oh. recorded that, that episode with the songs the day before I, uh, I got my baby boy. So I was Aww. crazy pregnant and I almost couldn't sing because I was like, like uh, my belly was so big with my with my son, so so I was like, <gasps> trying to sing. Well, and it's kind of hard when you have a really big belly. So I was like, <laughs> but then I went I straight from more studio. exhausting. Yeah, it's more yeah, exhausting. Yeah, it was exhausting, but it was so much fun. And and I and afterwards, the sound engineer was like, oh, "Papa wasn't like too hard on you." I mean, what was it? I mean, how was it? And like, I was like, "It was awesome. I love the songs." But now I have to go to the hospital and get my baby out. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but five hours <laughs> singing at City Bell the day before he got yeah no wonder he likes pony he got some songs and he got them in the belly like <laughs> <laughs> you're never gonna forget that that's for sure that's that's a memory never that's a lasting yeah. memory that's a very sweet <laughs> I'm sorry I'm trying to catch myself. <laughs> I just like I, I just love the idea like oh I'm, I'm so sorry but now I have to go have a baby now sorry I gotta go Bye. yeah yeah it's like singing 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 I sweet a bell I have to have to get my baby out <laughs> do, you, do you understand it's just it's just how it is it's just how it is you know it's another day at the office yeah <laughs> <Yay. laughs> oh man oh I've been I've, I haven't laughed this much in a, in a, in a while so oh this, I'm so sorry we have to start winding down because yeah. you know there's, there's only so much time in the day but i'm so thrilled you've been here seriously i'm so happy you've been here even you know you everything is, everything is a bit crazier this year and and we, we try to do what we can and the fact that you say hey i'm gonna come i'm gonna take some time out of my day for you i thought that was super awesome of you so thank you so much for being here with us Annalie. Well, thank you for inviting me and i was i mean it was it was so much fun and i want to do it again so yeah this was awesome i had fun <laughs> bexy you got a few words too I just want to say thank you so much and thank you for giving up your time to talk to us. It really does mean a lot and it's just brought so many smiles to so many people. So thank uh, you my, so much. But the sides of my mouth hurt from laughing, so that's a good thing. That's a good pain. That's a very good pain. <laughs> I think, as far as I can tell, the audience, most of them didn't know about you before, Anneli, but they're definitely big fans now. So I would say you did, you did a very good job. Oh, thanks. <laughs> 
So say, say goodbye, everybody in the chat. Say goodbye to Anneli. Tell her that she's awesome. I'm going to link her Twitter for you yeah. also so you can check her out. She's right here. She posts. She's cool. You should appreciate her. Tell her how awesome she is. She loves to hear it. She deserves it. So please do check her out. And if you happen to be Swedish or know Swedish people, then tell them to check her out twice because, you know, she has so many cool things she's in that I sadly don't know much about because I do not speak Swedish, but it's worth checking out. So oh. thank you all so much for being here. Bye. And thank you so much for being here, Anneli. Thank you. Thank Goodbye, you. Bye, everybody. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye. Thank you.